All right, good Tuesday morning, 7.51, your time right now. I told you before the break that the widespread swath of rain is now moving into eastern Kentucky with some scattered showers here across the central part of the state. Here's that back edge here of that solid swath of rain now moving east of Richmond, east of Winchester, still raining about Sterling and Owensville. But behind that, you definitely notice here some scattered showers across uh, Fayette County, even moving back into Paris and Bourbon up and through. Scott County scattering of these lighter showers too as we press a little bit closer into Woodford County and even back over into Mercer, Anderson and Franklin. That's not it though. We go down to the south. Let's zip on in that direction in southern Kentucky. Still some showers or some rain for sure from Somerset to London, from Berea all the way down to Williamsburg there along I-75. Along the Howell Rogers Parkway, north and south of it, rain there. Let's move deeper into Easter Kentucky and show you that yes, it is raining just about everywhere over here. Maybe a pocket or two of some dry weather right here in Eastern Wolf, northern part of Breathitt and western parts of Morgan County, but primarily we've got just a solid soaker over there right now with rainfall totals in the last 24, most of this really didn't start falling until after midnight. Look at this, Danville an inch, seven-tenths in Richmond and Stanford, nine-tenths in Somerset, over an inch in Liberty, Jamestown one inch, approaching an inch in Monticello. The Fayette County gauges north and south are both of a half inch, four-tenths in Winchester, Carlisle a half inch, so a good soaking. Now, the totals are lower in far eastern Kentucky. That's because the steadier rain hasn't arrived there in, in two the last couple of hours, so your totals will climb too. Somerset still raining right now and a temperature of 61 and that dew point also at 61. Temperatures elsewhere, primarily the low 60s, but we've had a few spots because of that rain dip in the upper 50s, Danville and Richmond, and also hazard at 59 apiece. Front keeps pushing the widespread rain out, but behind that front, as I showed you on the radar, a few showers lingering. That likely is the trend as we go into the afternoon. Widespread rain moves out, but even a few lingering scattered showers or isolated showers will still be a possibility eastern, southeastern Kentucky. So while most of us in the bluegrass see some peaks of sun later, uh, down to the southeast, it's going to be harder to get that cloud cover to break up until we get near sunset. Seven day tomorrow is a day that features a drier day. And I say drier, mostly dry. Now there's a front that drops south late afternoon, early evening. Not going to have a ton of moisture with it, but with the increased humidity and the heating, can't rule out a pop up shower. Thursday dry, Friday for Oaks Day. Showers look like they move in during the afternoon and then continue into Derby Day. Scattered, but it looks like the best chance on Saturday would be in the morning. And then into Sunday and Monday, a few scattered showers and storms. We'll fine tune, obviously, this timing as we get within the next day or two. We'll get a clearer picture as to when the rain moves in and out, both on Friday and Saturday.